Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this quick tip video, we're going to look at going from a simple black and white artwork like this to a glowing neon sign effect like this. To get started, in an empty blender scene, we're going to go ahead and import the images we want to use. I'm going to show you a couple of examples because the process doesn't always go perfectly and sometimes you need to do a bit of editing. To follow along with this tutorial, you're going to want to at least be using Blender 2.92 as this is the version that first included the trace bitmap option. So here, with these images imported, I'm going to select one, press my search bar, and type in the word trace. Then I'll choose trace image to grease pencil. I'm just going to take the defaults. Immediately, I'm going to press the G key and drag this down. I'll do this for the other two images as well. These three objects are all grease pencil objects, as we can see here in the outliner. The first one turned out very well. The next two have a few issues that we need to clean up. However, I'm not going to clean them up in the grease pencil. Instead, I'm going to convert these to curves first. So to do that, I'll click on one, hit my spacebar to search, and type in convert. And I want to convert to a Bezier curve. Now I want to do this for my two remaining objects as well. Since my first trace looks really good, I'm going to move on to the next one. Selecting it, I'll go into edit mode, and here I just want to clean up these curves to the best of my ability. There, now those look pretty good. The next step, selecting all three, I'm going to go to the Object Data Properties tab, Expand Geometry, and for the bevel depth, I'm going to press Alt and change the depth. Remember, when you have multiple objects selected, pressing Alt and changing a property changes it for all of the selected items. In addition, I'm going to go to Object, Set Origin, Origin to Geometry. With all three selected as well, I'm going to change the resolution. And finally, shade them all smooth. For the next part of the effect, I'll add some materials. For now, I'm going to use a principled shader. So this fingerprint, I'll set to green with an emission strength of 10. This Wi-Fi, I'll set to blue with an emission of 10. And finally, this light bulb, yellow. Changing my environment background to black, those look pretty good. I'm going to add a cube behind these. And those are already looking pretty good. Another trick is to go ahead and with the curves selected, go into edit mode, hover over one section of your curve and press L. This will select all of the connected vertices for that segment. Now with those selected, press P and choose to separate. Do it again for the next ring. And now you have three separate items that you can give three separate materials. Here's a file that I've already prepared. In this file, I keyframed the emission strength, and then using a noise and a limit modifier, made sure that the minimum value is always zero, and then can add in noise to the emission. This noise will hopefully generate a slight flickering effect, which is great for the neon sign look. I repeated this for each ring. With the first ring coming on at 30 frames, the second ring at 60 frames, and the third frame at 90 frames. And then here's a little bit I did in the compositor to just bring out the effect a little more, adding a glare node and then a lens distortion to give it just a little bit of extra interest. I hope you found this quick tip helpful, and as always, thanks for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I hope it inspires you to make something awesome. I'll see you next time.